Hey guys, Kev here, and uh, I want to do an EDC update. I'm out of truckers. Uh, this is for December, I think. I don't think I did December, did I? I usually do them like right at the end of the month, like an idiot, and I never know if it's the month before I'm in or the one next. So December, January, one or the other. <clears throat> anyway, a couple things have changed. Nothing crazy, um, but yeah. Uh, I had COVID. Uh, that sucked ball sacks. Um, I don't ever want to get it again. I'm going to be getting boosters and shit. Like, fuck that, man. That was rough, okay? That wasn't like, hey, man, uh, you just, you're just a little bit sick. Uh, you know, have some tea and sit on the couch. It was like... And then, like, this weird... I don't know. It was crazy. Anyway, COVID sucks. Uh, do what you want to do, obviously. I just hit up Wendy's. Kind of nice. Um, yeah. So, let's get into it. In my left pocket, I actually have a budgety knife. This is the Civivi Cogent. So, I got one of these from White Mountain Knives. Shout out to White Mountain Knives. Uh, you can use my code, LEFTY10, L-E-F-T-Y-10, for 10% off and uh, free shipping in the U.S., I checked with the guys over at White Mountain Knives to see how we did this year with that code, and it looks like we're just about to hit 500 orders. That's fucking crazy, guys. You guys have placed 500 orders using my code. That's insane. I love you so much. I really do. And uh, that helps White Mountain Knives out a lot, which helps me out because uh, they donate knives to the channel. Uh, for giveaways and such um, and I get a little bit of a discount when I order knives from them as well so it all goes to a good cause you guys get a discount everybody wins right it's kind of nice um, but yeah I picked this up because I wanted the micarta so I had to get this dumbass Damascus uh, it's better than I guess the normal kind of Damascus kind of more subdued uh, overall, I like the button lock mechanism. I think they nailed that. Uh, they could make the spring just a little stronger, but it works. has a ting to it, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I don't like this design that much. Um, I don't like this stuff right here. It's kind of tactical looking shit right here. Um, and then the ergos just do not work. It looks like a big knife, three and a half inches, large glove size hand but it just doesn't fit my hand right. It just feels weird. Like it does fit, I can use it, but I got all types of hot spots and weird bumps and shit. Uh, the action's good though, guys. I mean, it's got close to Malibu action, not quite there, um, but it's close, it's good. Definitely a budget uh, version of the Malibu, or a budgety uh, button lock knife, you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, for sure. Cool knife. And, um, yeah, I want to see what they do in the future with this mechanism. It'd be cool to see them put it on some other knives, not the fucking elemental please. Oh, they already did that. Fuck. And they fucked it up. Never mind. Uh, back left pocket. We're rocking the Mallory designs forest today. Uh, I'm trying to do my knife of the year stuff and I want to carry all these knives again. Uh, this one I never really stopped carrying because I just did the review and I absolutely love this fucking thing. Um, so I just want to, you know, carry everything and make sure I'm accurate with my thoughts on knife of the year, but this will be in there somewhere. I think I might break up price categories, um, to make it a little easier on myself and then also pick one big knife of the year winner. I already did the budget knife of the year video. That one was the Asher nomad Thai m390 just a no-brainer that could be knife of the year too it's fucking awesome uh, but that was the budget knife of the year and this is going to be in that somewhere and probably win whatever category it's in because it's a monster of a knife um i have as usual my vero fulcrum just ordered another one in blue wash and i think it's going to have my logo on the back which is pretty cool Joseph is dicking around with the laser. Um, I have my Hank that I've been carrying for a day or so. I just got these last night from Issuing Stitches. Awesome, awesome Hank maker. Great prices, really cool patterns, and awesome microfiber on the back. Really, 
really nice and works fantastically for what I need it for these days, which is cleaning off my glasses because I am now a dork. So I have that. And then the most recent addition, my Dapper Designs Ion Flashlight. Guys, this is the best flashlight on the market right now. Um, you're talking 50, 60 bucks. You know, 50 for aluminum, 60 for tight. This fucking titanium, $60. Somewhere it says USA made. Uh, it doesn't say it on their site, so I don't trust that. I don't think it's USA made, but it doesn't matter. Um, fantastic light. Goes up to 650 lumens. Has three moonlight modes, three regular modes, low, medium, high in each, obviously, and a strobe mode, as well as a magnet on the back. Oh, you can't see that, can you? You can kind of see it. A magnet on the back. I mean, you can, and if you really need that magnet to work, you can unscrew this and there's a magnet in there. Um, just awesome amount of things you get for such a small package. I mean, here's my fulcrum. Uh, just amazing. And the clip is fantastic. I love it. Um, that's really it. Apple Watch, you know, iPhone 13 Pro camera i've been using um i got my keys i do have i think i showed you guys this last time didn't i the pen and the toothpick i'll uh show you real quick from axial gear big shout out to them they sent me these it's a twist off pen that weighs nothing made out of titanium fantastic pen and then there's also a toothpick slash ice pick slash you know, whatever you want to use it for, pick that you can flip around, and then you have a pick there for whatever. Um, I have absolutely loved these two things. They've been on my keys since I got them. I took my telescopic pen off. I did not realize how heavy that pen was, how much room it was taking up. These two things take up no room and weigh nothing. Absolutely fantastic. Still have the Aurora on here. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, that's the EDC, guys. I mean, not much changing. You know, the glasses was big last month. The, the light is kind of big this month. I went from a $400 light to a $50 light and I don't regret it. I don't know if I'll sell the other one or just carry it occasionally. We'll see. I still have a Ray light, but the Ray light, I'm starting to see that the downside to the Ray light is one, the tail switch tends to break. I've replaced those before. And two, it just doesn't have enough lumens. Like, you max out at like 200 with a 10 440 in there. And if you use a regular AAA, you're only at 90. Uh, this thing hits 650 in this tiny little package. Uh, and my Hoku reaches 500. So it's just, you get a little more power. Uh, and I think that you need it, you know, cause 200 lumens is like nothing. I don't know. I'm a bougie flashlight guy now. Um, channel updates. Not much guys, cranking them out rolling along, uh, still trying to pump out two a day. That may slow down coming up. Uh, you know, I got the knife company now. I guess that's an update. I don't want to just keep, you know, throw, shoving it down your throat. I keep talking about it, but uh, Devo Knives, D-I-V-O, Devo Knives. Um, a Devo is a male diva, and I am the detent diva. Colin, my partner, CM Knife Designs, Colin Mace Pierre. He came up with the name, so... You know, it's not uh, whatever you call it, uh, conceited or whatever. I wouldn't have come up with that myself, I don't think so. But he did, and I thought it sounded great, so we went with it. Um, we're cranking out designs, guys. we got like four or five really good, what I think are really good designs. Obviously, we have the Stout in prototype mode. That's our kind of premium folder we're launching with. Uh, we have a budget knife we're trying to kick off um working on that we're gonna try to just order those and have them just show up and you guys can just buy them whenever that happens you know uh we're gonna do it that way no pre-order on that one uh pre-order on the stout i have a button lock design we came up with i think is absolutely sexy but i i need it to be done right so i'm trying to get in contact with a really good oem for that one and i don't really care how long it takes you know what i mean i just want it done right um and then we have a couple other designs up our sleeve. We're kind of, you know, we're just working on. And uh, it's just how it is. You know, you, you get the design, 
you got to get it to an OEM. You got to work on prototypes. It, it all takes time. You need funding too. Like, so we're hoping the stout goes well because if it doesn't, we're kind of dead in the water. We don't have a ton of capital build up or whatever. And I think that knife looks gorgeous. Uh, I think it's going to be a functional knife for sure. Utilitarian for sure with that sheep's foot sort of Warren Cliff blade. Going to be excellent for utility cuts and such. Uh, lightweight, <clears throat> hopefully. Uh, good carry with the wire clip. Very thin knife. Should be a great EDC. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But um, I'm excited about it. I'm really amped up. I've been working my ass off. Colin's been working his ass off on the website, doing logos and, and coming up with designs. I'm building up the marketing on Instagram. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're kicking it, man. We're trying. All right. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. You just never know, right? Like I've seen knife companies come and go. Um, and it just really depends on how the knives are received and you, you can get a lot of good feedback, which we have, honestly, um, but until people put that money down, you, you just don't know. So I'm hoping that it comes out well, but that's, you know, that's a little update of where I'm at. Um, I love you guys. It's been a blast. We're almost at 3k almost there guys for a channel, literally with the word lefty in the title. I'm pretty blown away that we've gotten this far because I figured I would be like lucky to get to a thousand in like a couple years being that you know left-handed is in the name and not many people are left-handed but uh seems like you righties out there still uh respect my game a little bit you know what i mean game respect game no i'm saying i'm just kidding um yeah i just love you guys i love this it's awesome i'm um, gonna keep cranking as i can and uh we'll see what happens but um yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any ideas for the channel or whatever. I won't listen to them or do anything about them, but you can leave them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can leave them down there. I'd love to chat with you guys about it. Um, I, one thing I, I don't talk about often is how you can support the channel. Um, my shipping costs have been out of the roof, man. Every live stream I do giveaways. I, I just did like four different giveaways for the holidays one in you know the shadow rangers group one in the finch group we did uh the knives live i shipped all of the prize packages for that um and i'm constantly shipping stuff loaners back and forth um not to mention buying knives and whatever but if you want to support the channel i do have a patreon it's linked down below that would be a big help i also have memberships on youtube there's a little join button down here if you want to check that out um, you know, you can, I don't know, send me well wishes that works too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you can use my links down in the description for all types of stuff. I usually get a little bit of a kickback for, not for all of those, but it helps, you know, either way. And you guys usually get a discount. Um, I'm not good at this, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the videos. Um, yeah, I love you guys. You know, uh, this is a blast and, uh, I'm gonna keep trucking. So that's it. I'm gonna shut up. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, Christmas is next week for me. Uh, this should be coming out around that time. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful holiday. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. If you're into that, if you're not, if you're Jewish, happy Hanukkah from, I think that was a couple weeks ago. Um, whatever religion or non-religion or whatever, I love you. Um, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy time with family regardless. That's what this is about. For me, it's not about religion. It's about family. I spend <clears throat> a few days with everybody. Hopefully, we won't be sick this fucking time. Uh, Thanksgiving was a wash. Uh, so hopefully, you know, uh, I'm going to have four days off again. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, guys, you're the best. Have a good one, and I'll catch you later.